Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, 4S 1P, okay, which is basically a 4 cell battery. And uh, this is a lithium ion. And uh, this ship is craft model specific because this is for the ZAC 84, which has a very limited space. So I have to make it uh, like a cylinder ship instead of a flat ship. So this is 4S 1P, this is 4S 3P. Okay, what does it mean is that there's three packs of four cell battery. As you can see, uh, there's one, two, three, four, which consists of four cell, and then there's three packs of it in parallel. So I made it parallel. So it's a four S three P. So I'm the chance to for this video to show you how to make a four S one P lithium ion battery for your aircraft battery or anything. So you have to cut three of this nickel plate. You can purchase from almost anywhere, maybe from a local store as well, or eBay. I got it from eBay or Banggood. For 4 one p you just have to make three pieces of, of this. So before you start, you have to make sure uh, all the contact point is uh, clean. Otherwise, uh, you may have a problem with your spot welding. Uh, it may create a spark or may burn a hole, okay? And then uh, you have to make sure your nickel plate is clean as well. Before I start, okay? Let me show you the configuration, how to make a 4S uh, 1P in this case or basically you call it a 4 cell battery uh, all four of them in, in a cube shape and all in a different polarity okay then uh, how, how a 4S works uh, means uh, a series a battery four, ba four pieces of battery connected in series so let's start from this side okay start from positive down here up then here go down here into here, a negative. Okay, so let's start. You have to make sure that uh, the nickel plate is touching, I mean, the whole surface is touching on the terminal of the battery. Otherwise, if, if there's a gap, okay, when you weld, uh, instead of the plate welding onto the terminal, uh, you you create a hole in that. You, you weld it, you just weld, weld on the plate and then create a hole. Okay, so let's try it. Let's confirm that it works. Okay. Very good. Second one. Very good. Looking around. Good job. Okay, then the other side. Put your meter first. Easy. See? If the pickle plate is touching the surface of the terminal flat, even, then Nothing will go wrong, okay? It's a very strong well. Here, you flip it, put it here, okay? See? And uh, it's best that you wear a uh, protective glass, okay, in case something goes wrong. Oh, this is not that. The line. Yeah. So now you can see the connection. Oops. Oh, so you see this one isn't touching properly. Oh shit. I'm actually. Oh shit. The plate must be touching properly, otherwise you create a hole here. Damn. Okay. So see this will be a positive. Go down, then up to another cell, down, down again, then cross to another battery and come here. Alright. Now the part about soldering this four cell balance plug to the battery. Prior to that you have to sand the surface of this contact point. This is a very crucial step. If you don't do this, you have hard have, have have time uh, soldering the solder to the surface of the nickel plate as well as the battery terminals. After that, you apply thermal flux, which is a little bit on one side first. Make sure you set it to between 350 Celsius to 400 Celsius. This will make the solder stick fast and not to overheat your lithium ion batteries. Alright, iron up to temperature. Now let's prepare the surface. Okay, solder on the surface. Do it quick. 
Oh, on the other side, apply the move flux again. Now time for the balance plug. Okay, to make it easy, we'll start from the positive terminal first. Positive terminal, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, positive will be for the positive. The negative, the last negative, the fifth one will be for the last negative. I'll solder the positive first, but this one I'll cut it shorter. First the positive. Second lead goes to the negative side of the first battery. Okay, which is down here. And the third lead will go to top one. Which you have to trim it shorter. Okay, then the fourth lead go down again. Then the fourth on the other side of the bottom one. The final one, which is here. Okay, so I have to cut it short as well. Alright, now you are almost done. Okay, just put the main power leads to your 4 cell, then you're done with the connector. Okay, positive here, negative here. Okay, positive here, negative here. Just like this. this. So if you want to find out whether you have done this correctly or not, especially the, the balance lead, just plug it to your battery checker. Looks okay. The second step to check is to plug it to your battery charger. If it's a good battery charger, you can tell uh, it can tell you that whether it's uh, properly uh, built or not, or, or you show up error before you start using it on your aircraft model. So that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll try to make more of these uh, quick videos all within five minutes. Uh, so thanks again. Uh, I see you in another video. Bye.